Hello, my name is Jim Perkins, and I'm with the Network Operations Management Team at Microfocus. Welcome. In this demonstration, I'll be walking through the installation of NOM Express, which is deployed as containers, commonly referred to as the CDF or the Container Deployment Foundation. Let's get started. Before we get started with the demonstration, let me set the stage. The environment I'll be working with has two SUSE Linux servers, a master node and a worker node. I have already downloaded the CDF Docker Foundation installation zip and also downloaded the tar file which includes all the relevant NOM container images. And I prepared all the servers by disabling the firewalls, the security enhancements, and enabling Cronid to synchronize the clocks on both systems. NOM Express is deployed as containers. Once installed, we will have deployed multiple containers. Some of the containers will be shared services from the IT Operations Management Foundation. Others are specific to NOM including the Network Node Manager Core and the Network Automation Core. The NPS is not deployed as a container, but it can be installed as normal and would be able to interface seamlessly with the containers. You say you're not familiar with Kubernetes or Docker? Don't worry, you can still deploy NOM Express. It's easy and you'll see. Here is the installation process. We will begin by preparing the install for the installation of the CDF Docker Foundation. Third, we will then load and install the NOM-specific containers into the CDF Docker Foundation. And finally, I'll prove it is all working. So to begin, I've opened a PuTTY session to the server where I want to install NOM Express. I've already downloaded the zip file, as you can see here. So the first thing we need to do is to unzip it. If everything went as planned, all the files will be extracted to HPE software. So let's see if that is there. It is. So let's go ahead and change that directory. And now that we're in there, we, we need to edit the install properties file and make some changes. So let's go ahead and open that. OK, first of all, we need to define where the master nodes are. So for that, uh, let's just go ahead and make it our master node system as previously discussed. Okay. And worker nodes. And the external host. There we go. We got the name for that, so let's go ahead and put that in. That looks correct. Our NFS server. Our NFS folder, that looks correct. It's going to go down to default DB type. It's way down here. And our DB type is embedded. Then the registry org name. There it is. We got a sandbox for that, so let's go ahead and change that. And then finally back to the Docker proxies. There it is. And for that, and same here. OK, we're good. Save and exit. One last step we need before installing is to create two directories that will be used by the uh, NFS ITOM core. We have a script that will do that for us in the scripts directory. The script is setupnfs.shell. The first directory is core. And the second is NOM. Let's make sure those directories were created. That looks good. So let's exit the script directory. And now we are ready to run the install script for the CDF Docker Foundation. So we'll clear the screen and begin the install. So through the magic of video, we will do this quickly. But normally, this would take about 20 minutes. So that only took about eight minutes. Now that we've done that, we can open the management portal. When we were editing our install properties file, we specified the host name. We need to browse to that host. There it is. 
we log in, the default user is admin and the default password is cloud. First thing I'll have us do is change the password, so let's do that. First step is to add a worker node. And for that, we just have to put the IP address in, which we discussed earlier, and a username with password. While we're waiting, we can just open a PuTTY session to our worker node, change to the temp directory, and look at the install log and make sure it says successfully completed at the end. That means it's done. So we can return back to the management console, refresh, and we'll see our new work node. Now we need to install the NOM suite. So I'll go back to my PuTTY session, change to the directory where I downloaded the tar, There it is, and extract it. Now everything should have been extracted locally, and there it is. Now we need to change over to the Kubernetes scripts directory. And in here we have a shell script to upload the images. This will upload about nine images and probably take about 20 minutes. But uh, thanks to the speed we can do a video, this will be much faster. Now that all those images are uploaded to the worker node, we can go back to the management console and install them. Select NOM, correct version, next, select Express, then say next. We have to configure this volume, so let's do that. Now that's configured, next. And next, we have to enter a password for our nom admin. And install. Now the installation is complete, I should be able to open a new tab and log into NNM and NA. There's NA. there's NNM. Installation was successful. In conclusion, let's summarize what we just did. We installed the CDF Docker Foundation. We loaded images into the Docker Foundation and installed all the key NOM components. Finally, we tested the installation to ensure that it was working properly. Since the core of NOM is still NNMI and NA, we would expect to be able to see both of them installed. And we did. Thank you for watching, and please visit our product site at microfocus.com slash noms.